Hi, it's Jen and Tammy back, and we have a notion that was actually the very one of the very first things when you came aboard Shabby. That's right. Tammy is a creative grid fanatic. Fanatic. <laughs> I'm a groupie. <laughs> I started quilting back in the dark ages where I think it was even before creative grid. Could to be been. honestly, I was like, I was happy to have a ruler. Have a ruler? I thought yeah. having a mat, a ruler, and a rotary cutter of any flavor, of any kind, of any size was so amazing. You're doing good. And when she came aboard, she brought her creative grid tools. And I'm like, what is this creative grid? What are these white dots? What is this black dot? I know. And I was like, oh, it's too confusing. And the more I use these rulers, yeah. I'm in love with these rulers. I love these rulers. I'm successful with these rulers. Exactly. It takes just a teacup's worth of information. Okay, yeah. a thimble. A thimble. A thimble's <laughs> in And then you'll see why these rulers yeah. are different than other rulers you might see on the market. That's right. So, Tammy, I know you have been working with these rulers for a long time. For a very long time. time. I have. Yeah. Tell us why you why? love them and okay. the best way to use the white dots, the black dots, all the of whole it. thing. Tell us the okay. whole thing. This is the Creative Grid 6.5 by 24.5 inch ruler. This is probably the very first ruler I bought mm -hmm. for Creative Grids. It is the most used ruler in my sewing room. In fact, I have actually worn the dots <laughs> okay. off of one ruler and rebought a second one. That probably took a long time. Because I use time. it so <laughs> much. I use this ruler all the time. Creative Grids has done a very good job of improving the grip on these rulers. If you haven't bought a Creative mm -hmm. Grids ruler in a long time, I suggest you treat yourself to a new ruler. They have extended the grip on the back of this ruler for this full half inch on this oh, side. Yes, Do you they see that? Have. It's extended. It used to just be a little thin one all the way around. These dots are bigger here in the middle. This is amazing. I should have brought in my old ruler to let uh, you yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah. But, yeah, they've also done a better job of making it easier to see your numbers. Okay. So I love the black and the white numbers. The black numbers are your half inch numbers. The white numbers are your whole numbers. So I'm cutting a six and a half inch border. Okay, but let's do it. That's easy, right? We I cut six and a half collection. all the time. I know, Swell, Swell Christmas. Christmas by it is one of our favorite collections, I love isn't that. it? Okay. Is so this not gonna... a quilt you're making for me for Christmas? Of course. Okay. So I'm going to cool. square this up and I'm going to cut a six and a half inch strip, the width of my ruler. I love that. Easy to line up. This ruler, you see it doesn't move. I'm trying to jiggle my ruler and it's not moving. It moves when pressure is not applied. So you get the ruler where you want it and the minute you apply pressure to it, it doesn't move. Do That's you see so that? Important. I can move the whole table and my fabric and my ruler are still right where they're supposed to be. I love that. It just mm -hmm. makes such a steady thing. And we are gonna cut. A, so six and a half, boom. I have a perfect six and a half inch cut for a border. Wow. Now let's say we wanna cut charm squares for a project, Kay. right? I need a five inch square. I do this a lot. I will take stash and I will pull, yes. right? I'll pull so fabric. So many times. Yeah, I or, love I love a charm pack yes. when I can buy one. Exactly. But, but if I have a times, project that uses charm packs, I just use my stash. It. That's right. Okay. Or you cut your scraps up into five inch squares. I have a friend that does that. She's incredible. She'll cut five inch squares, two and a half oh. inch squares, all kinds of squares and keep them. Yeah, that's for her left af leftovers yes. at the time that project yes. ends. Wow, that's organized. That's organized. <laughs> that's organized. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> so you're now used the other side. Yes. You switched it so around. Now I switched it around. I'm going to use the white numbers, and I'm just going to cut a five inch, a five inch strip, just like this. Just immediately, you can find it. I love that. This ruler is incredible. I I can't tell you how I'm short. Tammy's obviously mm -hmm. taller than me. When I get out here, sometimes the other ruler I used to use would they tend to wander, don't would they? Slip away and I yes. would follow it. Yeah. And you do I love follow the it. grip that that's yeah. not going to move if I'm I applying pressure. Cur agreed. So now, what is your common sizes of squares that you're gonna cut when you're quilting? Six and a half. Six and a half, right? Okay, uh -oh. square it up here. Oh my gosh. I don't square have my disclaimer. Oh, yeah. I don't have my glasses. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna do you my are. best. You're okay. Kay. You're okay. Perfect. Okay, and, and now the width of the ruler. Oh, I can do that. Of course you can. I, I can see most of it. How accurately you're cutting six and a half inch squares perfectly, just like that. And like you're saying, this is not going it anywhere. It doesn't move. It does not move. If you needed a six and a half by four and a half inch rectangle, let's say. Okay. Or ten and a half, you can cut, you can also use the ends of the ruler. Oh, of course. So I have a six and a half inch strip. I need a eight and a half inch. Look how of easy course. this is to find a six and a half by eight and a half inch. Or right. a six and a half by ten. It's easy to think of the ruler only this way. Exactly. But you use it this Turn way it too. Turn it sideways. Absolutely. Nice. Turn it sideways. This makes perfect sense to me. I think every, I love these every quilt that starts off with a width of fabric cut mm -hmm. starts off with a big ruler. It does. And then we start using smaller and smaller rulers that make Correct. sense. As we get down in smaller sizes. That's right. When you're sub cutting pieces. But this, I love this ruler. Most borders are six and a half. Yeah, on quilts. or that you know you're going to cut a width of fabric. That's right. You're going to cut something longer mm -hmm. than some that that one of the other rulers is going to fit. You right. need a longer ruler. You need a long ruler as as yeah. as a minimum. Absolutely. You can do anything with this ruler. Anything with that ruler. But you can't, I love it. You can't do everything with a smaller <laughs> ruler. That's right. That's so right. So you have convinced me. Uh, that wow. creative grid is different. It is a superior ruler, it is. period. It helps me be more accurate. The grip helps me stay in position. Yep. I'm not moving. It's safer. I'm not going to do something crazy. No. And it inadvertently, the ruler moves, and I make a cut or potentially cut myself exactly. with the rotary cutter. With the cutter. All yeah. right. You have convinced me. I've convinced Hopefully, you. we've convinced you that this is a ruler that is worth adding to your sewing room and Absolutely. you'll be using this probably more than any other ruler really you've got. I agree. All right, we'll see you next time.